Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will show you guys that how you can do basic regression analysis in Stata. So for this I will be using Autodata and I have created a basic regression do for you guys to go over. So I will op open my reg uh, do file. So I am using Autodata then I am first giving a, a working directory path that where is my data is located. Then I'm executing this code, control shift home and then control D to execute the code. If I come here, you can see that I have my data uploaded in Stata. And now uh, I will show that if you want to see that how uh, this price variable get impacted by the MPG, which is the mileage. That's if I want to know that if MPG increased by one unit, how it will impact the price. So for that kind of thing analysis, you will have to do regression analysis. So if I say REG, REG is for regression. And then I will, after regression, you have to select the uh, dependent variable, which is in this case is price. And after dependent variable, you have to select, select the independent variable. And I will select MPG. And now if I enter, you can see the stat I have uh, created a very nice table for a regression table for us. And here you can see a very important result of the regression is that if the MPG increase by one unit, the prices are going to decrease by 238 units. And uh, you can also see that this coefficient is very statistically significant. Another thing, an important thing I, I like to highlight that suppose if you want to show this result to your supervisor or your uh, professor, so you can just simply uh, select this table and then right click it and then you can copy it as a picture. And if I go to my Word document, if I paste it here, you can see that how easily you have extracted the result from Stata. To a word document and then you can share this table with uh, anyone you like I'm going back to my uh, Stata window and now I suppose if you uh, also want to use uh, any uh, output result into your calculation then if I that it's also very easy if I say return list you can see the Stata is Stata will give you uh, that that what are how many scalars or matrices Stata have created uh, for after this regression command. So and if you want to see that how many so Stata have created one scalar and of one matrix and the matrix contains uh, all the values that you can extract from here. So if I say mat list and our matrix is our table. So, our copy. so you can see that uh, uh, all the values of a matrix are here and all these values are coming from this table the regression table and you can extract any part of that value you know, suppose if you want to use in your calculation you can assign them to a local because sometimes when you are coding in stata you may need these coefficients to be used in your calculations so now after that i will show you guys that if you have to do if you have want, also want to see that how prices got impacted not only by mpg but also suppose with the length so that is also very easy so you will say write down regress and then you will say select the for, uh, independent variable sorry dependent variable and after that i will select my two uh, independent variables which is mpg and weight so you can see that now we have I have two independent variables and Stata is showing us about their coefficients. But in this regression, uh, an important thing to uh, see is that that all three variables that I am using, price, MPG, and weight, are all continuous variable. So. The continuous variable means that they can take any value uh, so in, 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 in any value from the scale from 0 to 100 but 
continuous variable also can take any value from negative infinity to positive infinity and now i will show you guys that suppose if i want to add a add an independent variable which is not continuous which is categorical variable so suppose i want to add a variable foreign so i will show you guys what is foreign variable so if i say here so you can see the foreign variable is a categorical variable it's taking only two values actually domestic and foreign are actually just labels so i'll so in order to show the actual values of foreign i'll say nol which is for means no label so as you can see a uh, foreign variable is 0 or 1 and suppose now if i want to include uh, foreign as a um, independent variable in a regression so if i say regress my independent my dependent variable is price then i'm using mpg and if i select m foreign so suppose if i enter this command this data will not give you an er error but this regression will not be right because stata will consider foreign as a continuous variable and which will impact our results our results will be biased here but i am repeating here the stata will not give you an error but the results that you will get in this table will be biased and and will not be considered as right so in order to make the right results you have to write down the command in this way so you will i will write down price and mpg is the same way but i will before foreign i will say ib so i will select ib means that which category of foreign variable will be used as the base category and suppose for this i will be using zero as my base category uh, so by zero means that zero base category impacts will be included in the constant variable so if you want to know what does it mean i think if you are doing regression analysis if you are familiar with the re regression you will get my point that what i am trying to say here so now if i enter so i have i think selected a wrong uh, command i will try to do it again so i will say id1 sorry i am doing it uh, so i have to select first one and then dot as you can see that now everything is fine so you have to write down ib and then the dot will come after one or zero so you can make it here zero i will also repeat the same command with zero so you can see that now it's working fine so this is a very uh, basic uh, overview about how you can do regression in stata but if you want to know more about regression linear regression i will say that you can help regress and you can go here there is a very very detailed overview about how regression command works in stata and what are the things you can do uh, so the stata have also given some very good examples about uh, how you can do regression how you can use categorical variable you can also combine regression with the if command 